Hello, my name is François Clément Bidard. I'm a professor of medical oncology at Institut Curie and Université de Versailles in France. So today I will review three abstracts that have been presented earlier at the ESMO meeting. First is the uh, overall survival result in K-522. Second is efficacy result of trastuzumab deruxtecan in uh, DB12. And the last and third one will be uh, the long-term or four-year uh, follow-up results of the Natali trial. So to start with uh, K-522 trial, we all know that thanks to the result achieved by K-522, which means an increase in uh, pathological complete response and also a better outcome in terms of relapse. Uh, pembrolizumab has been granted approval in the US, in Europe and in other parts of the world for patients with stage 2 or 3 triple negative breast cancer. So what is new here is the overall survival data. So uh, this is the overall survival analysis at 5 years and what is true is a 5% absolute benefit in favor of uh, pembrolizumab. It's uh, 81 versus 86 uh, percent of our survival at five years, so which is really significant, which means one patient out of 20 will have a life likely saved by the addition of pembrolizumab. So we knew before that pembrolizumab was effective, but no, we, we, are, we know and we learned that we are saving lives with this drug, so which means really it's really comforting us in our choice to, for this patient. In terms of safety, um, there was no additional uh, signal and uh, all the safety have been previously reported. Moving to the second abstract, uh, which is DB12, so Destiny Breast 12. So this is a single arm prospective cohort that was set up to document the efficacy of trastuzumab deruxtecan in patients with a brain metastasis. These patients were treated for an had two positive metastatic breast cancer and could have received up to two prior line of systemic therapy for their metastatic breast cancer. And here, the results are very interesting. In this patient with brain metastasis, the median PFS is expected to be about 18 months, but the, at 12 months, so the landmark analysis shows that 60% of patients um, remained progression-free, even though they had this difficult to treat brain metastasis. And looking at the intracranial response rate, uh, we had very good response rate. Uh, the response rate was 80%, which is very encouraging and strongly demonstrating the value of TDXD. So in terms of safety, uh, usual safety concern with Trastuzumab deruxtecan, keeping in mind that in this uh, stage uh, four population, the reported prevalence of interstitial lung disease was of about 12, uh, 10%, I'm sorry. So this is still to be uh, considered when following up patients uh, since ILD could remain an issue in this patient. So take a message from DB12 is that now we have enough evidence to prioritize trastuzumab deruxtecan over tucatinib uh, for the treatment uh, in pati of patients with R2 positive metastatic breast cancer with brain metastasis. And then moving to the last abstract, which is the four-year invasive disease-free survival uh, result of the NATALI trial. So you know that NATALI is an extremely large uh, trial, com about 5,000 patients that were randomized between adjuvant ribociclib versus no adjuvant ribociclib being in combination with uh, endocrine therapy. And now at four years of follow-up, what is very interesting to see is that the absolute benefit overall was of about 5%. It was more 6% in the stage 3, but absolute benefit of a 4% in stage 2 start to be clinically relevant. And that absolute benefit was observed both in not negative and not positive patients. So which means that now with Natalie, with more follow-up, now most patients have discontinued ribociclib and we are seeing like a benefit, absolute benefit that is emerging in stage two patient, which is highly relevant for the future use of hybocyclic. Thank you very much.